Um, it is a two player only game and it uses worker placement and set collection. And I'm gonna teach you guys how to play it in the first like, I don't know, like 10, five, seven minutes of this video. Oh no, my box is dang. Um, and then we're gonna play it. So yeah, pretty confident to stream it's gonna be under an hour. So there's that. I'm just gonna hang out for a couple minutes, let people get in here, all that kind of jazz. What, what? So yeah. This, um, we did a poll, uh, it was like a, it's like a 26, 27 hour poll, and, uh, the poll was the stack that you guys have seen before, plus this game, and this, this and Potion Explosion was, like, crazy close together, and then this is the, this is the one that actually won. So there we go. So this is what we're gonna be playing. Boom, boom. Here we go. So, this is designed by Diego Ibanez, I believe I'm saying that right, uh, published by Devere Games, which is a Brazilian publisher company, and I know technically this was released at Origins, but they did such a small print run, and they sold out so fast at Gen Con and before Gen Con even, that I'm, I'm going to count it for stream fodder. So, um, yeah, so let's do the unboxing and then start learning this bad boy. So it's two players only, and in this game, you and your opponent are taking on the roles of either Sherlock or Mycroft. So you're playing as the brothers. Um, and like the narrator of the story is Dr. Holmes. This is actually, this beautiful trim here, it's actually the board, which you totally don't need. I brought this game with me to Gen Con, and we didn't need to bring the board, but it's a nice touch. So board goes in the center between you and your opponent. And then we have these gorgeous rules. They are not normally folded in half this way. I folded them in half for um, travel. But yeah, the rules are great. They're gorgeous. If you're watching this video, you don't really need them. Um, you might want them for the special abilities of the different characters, but yeah. Then, I can't remember if this game came with baggies or not. I think it did. You have meeples. You have three meeples um, for each player, and they are blue or orange. So player color is either blue or orange, which makes me super happy because I like orange and Steve likes blue, so this is perfect. And then you have these like magnifying glass cardboard chips, which are your primary currency. These are clues, essentially. And then you have cards. And some of these cards are the workers that you will have out, and then some of these cards are evidence cards, which um, we'll talk about here in a minute. That's the primary set collection mechanic. So, but... So this is what the game comes with, but um, Meeple Stores actually has an upgrade kit where they have wooden magnifying glasses and a little Meeple Sherlock and Mycrofts, which are completely adorable. Check them out. So we're actually going to play with the upgrade components because I saw them when I was at Gen Con and I got crazy excited. So, um, Steve and I have discussed this at length over many, many hours, and we decided that he was definitely Mycroft, and I was definitely Sherlock. If we just talk about, like, personality styles. Where did those come from? You can always tell when he's paying attention. Um, they came from a store called the Meeple Source, um, dearest, and so I just put that up so you guys can see. He's just looking at his phone, because he already knows how to play this game. So he's ignoring it. Um, but yeah, so these awesome little wooden magnifying glasses. We're gonna use these beauties. Oh, look at them. They're so pretty. So we're gonna use these as our primary currency. And then that's um, almost everything down in the box. When you first open the game, there are these uh, three special worker cards that have like blue backgrounds. Um, one is double-sided, it's Mycroft and Sherlock. These are for advanced play, you don't need these, and I would just recommend you put them in the box for your first game. The game even recommends that you put it in the box for your first game. The other worker cards have these diamonds on the back, and then you have the three double-sided Dr. Watson, Mrs. Hudson, and Inspector Lestrade cards. Let me get rid of our faces. Um, and these are going to go on their respective spots on the board. So you're going to have Dr. Watson, Mrs. Hudson, and Inspector Lestrade. So they go there. 
and then you're going to shuffle the remaining worker or the remaining people supporters and you're going to put them on the spot on the board that has the matching symbol to the racks. So there you go. Um, and then because we're playing with day one, we're gonna deal out day one. And I'll explain their abilities here in a minute. Next up, every player you're gonna make sure that they get their workers. And then um, I believe everybody starts with five tokens. I'm just gonna double check that. Do do do. Do do do. Yep. So everybody gets five of the amazing magnifying glasses. I mean, the cardboard components are really nice too. Don't make me wrong. Get me wrong. Um, so there you go. And then you're going to take the giant evidence deck. Well, it's not giant, but the large evidence deck. And you're going to shuffle it pretty well. And then you're going to make a market where you have four evidence cards out and available um, beside the deck. But before I do that, I'm going to explain to you the types of evidence cards. So I'm going to scoot this so I have room to put the market um, over here. Cool. So there are the evidence cards for the most part. I'm going to explain these in a second. They are just um, magnifying glasses looking at different types of like evidence things. Fingerprints, footprints, butt of a... Oh, that's TNT. Um, the important thing to pay attention to is the number. So the numbers go from three to nine, and there are that number of cards in the deck. So there are nine nines, eight eights, seven sevens, so on and so forth. Um, and at the end of the game, um, you get points for having the majority of these. So if I have the most nines, I will get nine points. However, however, however many nines Steve has, I will lose that number of points. So if I have five nines and he has two, I will get nine points minus two. Um, and you do that for every number in the deck. And then there are special cards. There are two types of special cards. That is it. We'll explain this one. This is the wild card. It has the explanation point. So this one you can use for any number that you, when you take it, you have to decide what number it's going to be. And it can be used for any number pile, but it can't change. So once you say this is a four, it can't magically become a five. And then, at the same point, you can only use one of these per number. So I can't use two of these in fives or something like that. And you can only ever have one set of a number. So, yeah. The last special card is the map card. The map card is um, your standard escalating set collection mechanic. So if you have one of these at the end of the game, you will get minus one point. If you have two, you will get one point. If you have three, three points, four, six. And then if you get all five, you will have ten points. Whenever you acquire cards, they will go face up in front of you in a tableau. And they are subject to theft. Certain cards, workers out here will allow you to steal them. But whenever you have a card stolen, you take the card and it goes into your hand and it becomes face down. And face down cards can no longer be stolen. So there we go. That is um, the majority of the game. On your turn, you just simply take one of your workers, you put it on one of the spots, and we just keep doing that. We can go to um, the same spot as another player, um, but I can't go to the same spot as I had gone. Um, I'm realizing now these don't show up great on film to see what player colors are. Um, but if we both go to the same spot and it's not one of the three main characters of the game, at the end of that round, once we have resolved everything, that character is going to flip, and they are unavailable for the next day. They will come back this, then, a, the, a day after. Um, then you lay down all of your meeples. Or no. When you play them, you lay them down. Which is weird to me. Either way, I think you can flip it. But now when we take, we're going to take from where our guys were, and then we're going to stand them up on the next one. Um, we're going to add a new day card for day two and keep playing like that until this round ends. But when you pick up a worker from a previous round to go to place it, you can't go where you already have a worker. So I couldn't go to where I have other Sherlock's. I could go to where Mycroft is, but that's it. Um, so that's worker placement. Mechanics. With the exception of the start of the game, you are never you never have your workers like in front of you. Um, let me raise this. Whoop. 
I bet that wasn't discerning. So now, Disconcerting. There we go. Or annoying. I'm really bad at words. So there we go. So that is the core mechanics of the game. The Now, let's talk about stuff. So everything you do, you do by workers. So Mr. or sorry, Dr. Watson, you will pay one magnifying class and you get one card from the market. Mrs. Hudson, you just get three magnifying glasses from the bank. Inspector Lestrade, you spend three magnifying glasses, you get two from the market. The evidence pool. Um, Billy is a special one. So, um, Billy allows you to discard one clue from your play area and then take as many investigation markers as the value of the card minus the day you are currently investigating. It's kind of a weird one. So if I had a four, I could discard the four and I would get four investigation markers, clue tokens, minus whatever day it currently is, which would be day one, so I'd get three points. Or three markers. Wiggins just gives you five markers. Um, different workers, I'll explain as they come out. You ready, sleepyhead? You ready? That was it. How did how long did it take? Ten minutes. I was about right. I think it took maybe like a little less time. You ready to play? Yeah, I'm ready. You sleepy. Also, I've been trying really hard not to eat on this, but it just didn't it didn't work out. So I'm gonna have dinner during this game. I apologize. So we're gonna have four out in the market, we start with none. And um, is it taken or place? Is it TTR replacements? I love how every game is always either TTR replacement or not. Like, yeah. There's no middle ground. You're either also, with the TTRs or you're against them. I totally do have another splinter in my hand. That's annoying. Was it from one of the Pokemon you tried to catch? I mean, most likely. It's so worn. There are always four. It's TTR replacement. Sweet. Also, um, hello people that are watching. You're very quiet this evening. I must say. Hello people that are watching. It's so hot in here. I don't think I'm going to make it the whole stream without opening the front door. It's so warm. It's getting so hot. I'm going to turn the stream off. Yeah, we're also sitting under lights. So here we go, you ready? Yes. You ready? I'm gonna yes. turn off face cam so I can eat. Do you wanna go first? Hey, that's gross. Really enjoying that dumpling, aren't you? I hate you. Go. Hey, why do I get to be my croft? Why are you Sherlock? We discussed this. You are the more meticulous one. Oh, that's true. You're older. And you're the annoying pedantic one. Mm, I don't even know what that word means. <laughs> uh, puffy farts. That's, mm. yeah, that oxygen going out of the room there. Um, I mean, how can I not just pay a magnifying glass to get... The nine. The nine. Hmm. And I get to take all three of my actions at once, right? No. We alternate. I mean, you alternate. I'm going to do Lestrade. I'm going to pay three, and I'm going to get these two sevens. Oh. What? Holy moly. Hmm. It's Wiggins. Mm-hmm. Wiggins going to get used a lot. I don't think he would appreciate that terminology. Oh, that's kind of inappropriate on me. I will also go to Wiggins. You really Wiggins me out. <laughs> Three for two. T. T. R. Replacement. Oh. Jerk. Why is that nine upside down? I think I will uh, do Lestrade. 
It's terrible. Or Walton, sorry. One for one. It's terrible. When I'm on stream, I just want to eat really loud food. All right, so that's that round. So we lay down. It's appropriate. This just really want, makes me want to play uh, consulting online. detective. I know, we should play online. So now we have Violet Hunter. So she allows you to switch one card from your tableau with the market. But it can't be like a whole set, it's just one. Uh, I go first? Mm hmm. Whoever went first goes first the whole game. Uh, but I can't go to somewhere that I already am. Let's put these where people can see them. Yes, you cannot go where you currently are. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I really like this game, Charles, is that it's a two-player game and it's definitely like a medium to lightweight two-player game. But there's a lot... Um, not happening, but there's a lot going on. Um, but it works really well and it keeps the... I don't know, it's not very, like, heavy on the brain. It's actually, I think, a lot easier than Potion Explosion would have been to play. So, yeah. Um, your turn, babe. Wow. Who shuffled these? Wow. Hmm. I mean, nine points is really great. Unless I do that. Oh, heck yeah, I've taken the map. The map! The map. <gasps> the map! Back on. I am gonna put the faces back on. I'm still chewing. Here, let's just slide the market very slightly. Yeah. Okay. So, how was your day, babe? Wait, why are you taking. Oh, tokens? I was just sliding them. Well. I, mean, I don't trust matter. you to touch my tokens. The same. Yep. Uh, is it your turn? It is my turn. Uh, you know, my day was good. There were work things that happened. I would like to do more work. <laughs> I'm gonna um, discard this. So I'm gonna get nine tokens minus the day, and it's day two. So this is gone. I'm gonna get seven tokens. I what? mean, puppy play dates are pretty amazing. Yeah, Steve is learning the joys of puppy playdates. Which is someone else gets to tire out the dog, and that someone else is another dog. Chester gets socialization, which is nice. Uh, sweet, so that was the round. So is it why you're not supposed to keep kids chained up in your basement? You're supposed to let them meet other kids? Mm-hmm. Okay. Part of it, yeah. Um, so Wiggins comes back. And now we have Von Kram. So this is an Von interesting Kram. one. So this one, um, we both get, if somebody goes there, they get this benefit. So they'll get one card for free. And then the other player will get to spend, they can spend one magnifying glass and get a card off the top of the deck for free. So. Yep, babe. Um, Vat. Do I vaunt to do? I'm just gonna... Oh, there aren't five. How do you have so many? 
Those are limited, right? Um, I can't remember, but I'm a hoarder. I spent the all last round just getting things. Mm -hmm. Limited. I guess I went there. I'll just take the three. That's kind of lame. Bum, 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 bum. I'm gonna go to Von Crum. I'm gonna take the seven. So you, if you want, may spend an investigation marker to draw a blind off the top. Of course I will. Of course. Oh, that's fine. Technically, it would have been replaced first, but that's fine. I'll do that. No. I'm <laughs> fine. You've I'll... already seen it. Yeah, but that's fine. Cheat and Steve. The only problem with these magnifying glasses is I legit just want to, like, look through them. But they're wood. They're solid wood and they're painted, so. Would you say that's an optical illusion? How did you get the tokens stuck in your eye, Tiffany? Well. It's a long story. Ah! I got it. It's fine. Probably won't get it. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. <sighs> There's like not a lot of cards that get stuff this round. I'm gonna pay three, four, two, and the two that I want, I did. You just go twice in a row because you totally just. Did you? Push. Well, I don't know. Maybe you shouldn't be looking at your phone. I was tweeting the link to this. Well, your turn then. Yeah. Look here. Where where does where does that where does he go? Where was he? Oh, he was on... I think he was on my drop, Mrs. Hudson. Yeah. That's oh. awkward. Yeah. Mm. I'm sorry, Miss Hudson, but I am for real. <laughs> Never meant to make your Watson cry. I apologize a thousand times. I'm sorry, Miss Hudson. Oh. Okay. Cry, yeah. Miss, for real. Okay. That's, that's inappropriate. I didn't... Mean to keep alive the specimen in the ice box. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Watson. Oh. oh. TTR replaced for the one. The energy cubes in, in King of Tokyo would totally look like delicious things. But there's another game that we play where they just look like Smarties. Uh, Tokaido. Tokaido, oh, yeah. the, like, original score tracking things just look like Smarties. Not Canadian Smarties. Uh, American Smarties. Yeah. Just look highly edible. I actually frequently want to eat the cubes in regular pan or Pandemic or yeah. Legacy. Not the dice, but the... Oh, there are no dice. Yeah. Usually, there's water in the kitchen. What are you doing, dog? We should have puppy cam on today. I just didn't want to deal with that. <laughs> Life is for real. All right, I don't like want any of these, so I'm gonna take this one, <sighs> and I have to take this one because you want it. I do want it. You do want it. I can tell. I, I want it so bad. Honey, this is this is live. On hey, the hey! <laughs> I'm talking about the cards. Hey, hey, hey! We should do something with that window. We could do curtains. I will von crumb. But we could do like. Do you want to pay a thing to get a blind? Actually, you probably do. For sure, do. Look Damn at all it. my money. Damn it. Oh. Oh yes. Oh, and it's face down. Yeah. Ah! Sorry, that should have been. been that face down. I don't know. You have that. <sighs> You shuffled. I know, right? Uh, I'm gonna go here, and I'm going to... Resign. No, I'm gonna pick up this five. Funf. Ah! Okay, and then we lay everybody down. Boop, boop. And we totally both went to Von Crum, so he is out this round. And then we now have a new person. Shinwell Porky Johnson. 
Check out that. Check out that character. Oh yeah. Um, so you get to discard one to three cards from the market. It's your choice. Your choice. Um. Yeah, I'm fine with that. To an extent. Jerk. Where do they go? Just there. Well, I wanted to do, like, something transparent so we could bring the blinds up to get more light in, but still not oh. have, like, people looking at our window. And then it would be kind of cool if I did a thing where we could, like, hang, I could put, like, clothes pens and, like, hang posters or something on it for while we stream. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. This, this is... Oh! That is... I, this, we need a rematch. No, we don't. We I think we need a game. This. I think we need a game where we just actually shuffle it. Ba, 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 ba. I shuffled. The internet saw me shuffle. She's over here. She just curled up. Sorry, Miss Jack. <gasps> what are IKEA panels? They're just it's a type of curtain. Type of curtain. Yeah. Um. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. I want to go there, but I can't because it's where I am already. Sound got kind of boring. Um, Futz and Lutzen, man. Futz the Muffin man? I mean, anyway. Um, I have so many. I know you guys can't see them, but I have so many investigations. At members. least a billion. Yeah, and there's nothing... What are you, the NSA? You just have all the investigation tokens There's nothing everybody. I want to do to get things, so... Screw, Scrooge McTiff. I'm going to go there, and I will exchange... Exchange. This six for this yeah, thing. Yeah, of course you do. That was my turn. Was it, it was it really a turn? It was a turn. I took a turn. Did you take a turn for the worst? Saw that coming. Yeah. Oh. 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 That's inappropriate. We are siblings in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Though, if you read certain fanfics it online. <laughs> oh, hi, kitty buddy. You hey, coming Kat. to join the fun? Cat, do you. Are you interested in fanfics? Because we mentioned fanfics. Check it out. It's a box that's your size. I'm just saying, if you want to be live on the internet right now, this is your moment to shine. Okay. I'm for sure... Wait. For sure going there. I'm spending three. Did I... Sp I didn't have to spend anything there. That's the other thing. It's so interesting, because normally when I play this game, like, you have to, you have to spend them to get cards, but, like, a lot of the cards that we have out are free right now, so my normal strategy of hoarding tokens is totally failing me. But, yes, normally you, you use these little tokens to buy things to get cards, but this game, it has not quite been as much of an issue that that is required. You're making weird noises in your mouth. This is going to become a eight. An eight. An eight. It's an eight. It's an eight. It's an empty box. The fact that it's an eight. It's an empty box. The fact that it's an eight is an eight. It's actually not an eight because it's a wild card. So it's the opposite of an eight, which makes it an eight. I have a friend named Nate. Yeah? No. I have a coworker named Nate. We should I... introduce Nate to Nate. We should be an eight party. At an eight party. <laughs> I think it's too soon to Nate. Uh, oh, she, she leaned back down. Um, is it day five or day four? Mm -mm. It's day four. Yeah, I think I want to do the exchange. I hope that was creepy for those of you at home. It was creepy for me. <laughs> I'm not even watching this stream. Um, the problem with the dog is she blends into the couch, like, way too well. 
We need to get her a glue in the dark collar. Or a bright orange collar. I don't know why I did that, did you? No one knows. No one knows anything. No one knows anything, I'm just saying. I'm gonna go to Dr. Watson and be like, yo, my brother, he is a tool of the government. Um, I'm gonna see, actually. Actually, yeah, that would be great. I'd go to Dr. Watson and be like, my brother is a tool of the government because you're, you're Minecraft. You are a tool of the government. Oh my god, it's just layers upon layers. We should watch some Sherlock. Anyway, I think we're done with this round. Mm. I had caffeine today. Oh, um, good, Joanna. It's going. You see, it seems like it's going good for you. How are you doing, babe? I'm going great. Okay, well, Von Krom is back. You can be happy now. Violet Hunter is actually dead. She's not dead. She's just, she's tired. She's taking a break for a day. Permanent. We have Langdale Pike. No. Sounds like a street. Um, Langdale Pike, you pay, um, it's interesting. So you draw one card for free and you just look at it. I'm going to have to read this one. I think you pay magnifying glasses, no, and the number of magnifying glasses. No, one for one. The two number... for two, pick one. Three for three, pick one. <clears throat> the number of magnifying glasses you pay is how many you get to look at, but you get only get to keep one. Yep. Oh no. Oh, yes. Origins. Yeah, I, I still want to go to Let's Origins. Let's keep the card hidden in your player. So yeah, that is people, what I said. Certain people have been to Origins a couple times and really like it. I like it more than Gen Con. For hanging out with people and seeing people. For sure. If you start, my love. I know. I definitely like it more than Gen Con in regards to people who I'm hanging out. Gen Con is just like a giant it's maddening me. show, but it's cool. It was a lot... Gen Con was a lot more interesting for me before I was so vested in getting new releases. And it's not even that I necessarily want some of these releases for us. I just want these releases for coverage, like to get better views. And this year we didn't have the budget to do that. So we only got games that we ourselves would want. But like normally I would go and I would buy like 30 games because they were the hotness, even though I wouldn't necessarily know that I would like them. So it's weird weird um, I know it just has me it just has me crying havoc I can we can still pre-order it right now and get the fancy upgrade bits and if I sent an email to Ignacy and just be like I should have pre-ordered I'm sorry he will totally be like no problem no, I I'll just, let I you just, pre-order I just like teasing you about it you're gonna tease so much and then you're gonna open the cabinet and it's gonna fall on your head and it's gonna kill you and you'll be sad because you're dead from this game that you teased me about. But I'll be like, I bought it to surprise you. Wait, which cabinet's it in? Maybe you should go look at the cabinets and find out. <laughs> the implication is it was up high. That was the... Ah. Alright, this is a secret card because I paid. You're the worst. I am the worst. Bah, 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 bah. I didn't actually move a token there. Hang I'll, on. Move, I'll move a token. I didn't actually move a token to do that. Grant challenged Willie to make solo rolls for Cry Havoc. I heard, I saw. I heard and I saw. I'm gonna lose this game very badly. You said that last night, or the other night when we were playing Lotus, and you actually came back to win? Didn't you win that? It was close either way. I think you won that. I barely run TTR. I was shocked by that. Were you shocked by that? Uh, well, we weren't playing with your sister in law. That's true. My sister-in-law is fierce at Ticket to Ride. Yeah, she's she's like cut from the cloth of an actual railroad baron. That's good. That's the only explanation, really. Like, in, in her heritage is someone that exploited masses of people for capitalist gain and industrialized part of the country That's just for so pure profit. Mean. Why are you saying that about... Crystal. No, I'm just, I'm just saying. It's, you know, there will be blood. There's a whole movie about. Your turn. About that. I 
I wanted those. I wanted those, and he knew it. I did know it. Yep. I hope you enjoy your sacrifice. Oh, I will. See this? See this? It's mine. Are you Batman now? Maybe. What is going on? If you're Batman, I have no idea. I might just be Will or Net Batman, who's like, <laughs> like a kinder, kinder, gentler kind of gruff Batman. All right, we have Irene Adler. Whoop, whoop. So this is kind of like a horrible time to get her because she's expensive. So you spend however many tokens, as is the day, and you get to steal a card from an opponent's face-up tableau, and it becomes face down. And you can never steal from face down. So it's a, it's day seven, or no, it's day six. So she's expensive. Um, and you start. Yeah, volunteering is great. I would I would recommend that. Also, being kind of an introverty person. I will pay two to draw two, pick one. Oof. If you're on Twitter, you can always find where I'm at at Origins when I'm like sitting and playing, and you can always come by and play for sure. But volunteering is a great way to help and there's always booths looking for volunteers, especially if you're local. It makes their lives a lot easier. So yeah. Oh. Um, -da -da -dum 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 -dum. I'm gonna go to Von Crom. I'm gonna take this for free. Would you like to pay one to draw a blind? Yes. Did I just skip somebody's turn? No. Why are we doing this? Why did I do this? Did I skip somebody's turn? Or are you watching back in time? Oh, it might be because Von Kram both people go. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Did you go? Yeah, you just, I, I accidentally flipped face up the card that I got. And I, was I didn't like, see it. Yeah, I know. Okay, so it's your turn though. Because I went to Von Oh, Trump. right. Yes. 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 <sighs> Sorry, Mr. Anderson. You really like Shinwell Porky Johnson. Is it the muscle shirt? Like, what exactly? It's the muscle shirt. That's small. It's getting me too. Okay, I'm gonna do that. So I take the map. And... A map? <laughs> what happens when the deck runs out? I think we just keep playing. Okay. Canadian yeah. Smarties are like... M&M's, and you are watching Back in Time. <laughs> Hello, Eden. I should stop tapping, because there's a microphone. Yes, that would be great. I really, I, I think we should have a mega Sherlock stream. And just like stream everything Well, Sherlock? we've got Mr. Did we get rid of regular Mr. Jack? Uh -uh. It's in the two player cabinet. Okay, well, because we have Mr. Jack and Pocket, Beyond Baker Street, Consulting Detective, and Sherlock and Mycroft. It would be amazing Sherlock day. That would be a really amazing Sherlock day. Is and there like some Sherlock thing that's being released soon? I don't do think it so. To celebrate. But yeah, just doing like a massive Sherlock stream. I'd say we could donate to charity, but I don't 
I don't know which. Like. I mean, extra life is just always there for it. Yeah, extra life. The problem would be puppy time. I honestly don't. The problem would be puppy time. No. Um. I mean, I think she, we have to keep playing. Has she ever had one of Ichi's pain pills? <laughs> they don't technically. I know that's not cool. Stone them. Oh no, it's not over, Joanna. We're at we're at forty forty eight right now. You're just referencing things from past in this episode that makes me confused. That's all. Oh, everybody's oh no, you have one more turn. I honestly don't know. I think we might just keep playing. Because okay. the discard well, the discard is supposed to be face down. So we could just shuffle the discard and do it. Because it is a discard. So I think that would make sense. Yeah. I love when the discard rule is like in setup. They'll be like, make a discard pile, and then they'll it's be something It's face reference. down. Completely forget that you do this the rest of the game. Um, I will pay three tokens to look at three and pick the one I want. Hmm. Mm -hmm. If at any point the clue deck is exhausted, the discarded cards must be shuffled to create, create a new deck. What? What? My intuition was correct. What time is the meteor shower up going to be? Because we fall asleep really early now because puppy. Because puppy. Puppy. So I'm going to take that one. All right. Yeah. Oh no. End of round. Lingdale Pike is gone away. And my like massive supply of tokens is basically gone. Perseid meteor shower. Toby. Oh, Toby's the best. Toby's the dog, and he um where is he? He lets you pick up however many tokens you have for unique like number sets. Um. Yeah. Um, I could have picked up Cry Havoc at Gen Con because I would have pre-ordered it for sure because I was pre-ordering things that I knew would be tough, but I did not want Cry Havoc because yeah. Steve wanted it and I don't like him, so I specifically avoided... No, uh, he and I discussed it and we have a lot of games that are not similar, but like are similar playtime dudes on a map that are specifically tailored to two-player games. And for the most part, we play two-player, and we haven't played a lot of those games. And so Cry Havoc will be something that will be available for, like, a long while, because it is a really good game, and it's solid, and Portal tends to keep their games around. Well, and also, and it's specifically, it's like if you want to play this type of game, but you want it to be two to four, which is great, but we probably wouldn't really play it with three or four. Yeah, we have a huge backlog of games to play at those player accounts. And if we're going to play dudes on a map, yeah. Ooh. Best in 20 years. We should take the dogs and drive out someplace where we can see Yeah, it said 10 p.m. your local time, but I don't know what that local time is. But that probably means... Well, your local time would be... Come on, babe. Come on, come on. It's your turn. 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 No, it's your turn. No, I just... We have Toby. Toby's back. <clears throat> I Toby! Know. I love Toby! <clears throat> I don't believe maps are included in regard uh, Toby to Toby. Toby is for each set you have? Yeah. Wow. Not including maps. So he is the same as Wiggins for me. So six? Yes, for you. Oh, because not including maps. Yeah. He's the same as Wiggins for I. 
Would you say he's Wiggins you out? No, he's Toby. Toby, Toby, Toby. Toby, Toby, Toby. Toby, Toby, Toby. Toby, Toby, Toby. Did I actually want to even do that? No. Yeah, didn't we do... I want to go... Let's see. I can't go there. I mean, well, Tiffany's been playing Pokemon, which is a CCG. Uh, we played a lot of Netrunner and haven't recently. I think our decks got kind of out of date, but I want to play more Netrunner. The World Championship Netrunner decks are available at, for sale now at Cloudcap Games. Oh, they've just... Located you... in Selwood, Portland. <laughs> You can buy the World Championship deck. That's yeah. kind of cool. The runner, I almost bought them for us. It's your turn. Yeah, the the only one we were playing was was Netrunner, and we had a deal where if one of us bought packs, we bought packs evenly, so that there wouldn't be a thing, um, and we would always have the same number of cards. But then that just means that we have like twice an unnecessary collection because really. We honestly just need one collection that we just share. But this was when we were started like dating and not married and like we didn't both own all the cards. Yes. Oh, uh, your turn. So now we definitely should just probably play with one set. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pick up that. Yep. I'm gonna pick up that. Gosh dang maps. There's not a and lot I have to of... Pay. I have to pay for it. You, you do. There's not a lot of draw from the market cards. There's not this game. It's a very tight game in that regard. Because we just haven't been able to buy as much stuff. It's really interesting because there's one more worker which we won't reveal this game at all. It's just there. So, um, yeah. And then there's the advanced workers in the box. We on have Prime, actually... I just get one face up. Or is that from the deck? No, that's just one face. Yeah, one face up, and then I can pay one to get a blind one. We do, like, Ashes. Um, but Ashes came out when we were still in that time period, when we weren't really... There was so much other stuff to play. Of course, now I want to play Ashes. I actually nah. have been craving playing Ashes a lot recently. Mm. What happens if we're tied? On, like, majority? I can't remember. I can look it up. Uh, absolute, ma absolute majority. Oh no! If you have all of the cards, you will get a three-point bonus. Okay, your turn. Uh, would you like that last map? I hate my life. She's just gonna get ten points. We have a request to stream Ashes. We should totally stream Ashes. It might be kind of fun. Like, the combination... I thought the combinations were pretty interesting in just that starter box. Like, all the characters did feel pretty different. I really like how they're being so inclusive and diverse with the art of the Phoenix Born. It's pretty awesome. There's a lot of representation in the art. Of yeah, the game. fact that it's not just... Dudes. Skimpy chicks and dudes with beards. Yeah. Hmm. It does not say. Yeah, the artwork, artwork in this is really cool. It says, Just. the player with more clues of one type will obtain the value of that clue, minus the amount of clues that the type of the rabble holds. So I don't think you get one if it's tied. I don't think you mm. score it. I, that sounds familiar. Let me just discard. Because it's if you have more. Yeah. And I have one last action. And I could get the map for 10 points. Or I could do something to hold to screw up. I think I'm just going to get the map for 10 points. Alright. Boom, baby! Alright, so hands are useless. Oh, no, wait. Hands are hidden. Info. So now you distribute your hand out to your cards. I'm going to get rid of faces so you guys can see everything we have. Um, I'm actually going to even get rid of the board. And don't forget, these are the upgrade components um, from MapleSource.com. Did you get them from Gen Con, or did we get them shipped? 
I got them from Gen Con because I was walking around and I saw in the corner of their booth they had like three copies of this game left and I was like, <sighs> do you have the targets? They were like, yep. So I bought them. Oh, are they doing the thing where they'll sell the game? They bought the all of Devere's remaining stock. Um, wow. Because they didn't have a lot and then they were selling it direct from their website and at conventions. Can you distribute your hand? Yeah. These? Yeah. Is that how they got, uh, is that how you got it? No, I got it because I bought it direct from the publisher at Origins. So yeah. Um, so I have another three, I've got two more eights, and I've got another nine. Okay, so threes, I have... Mm -hmm. So you get two points. So I get two points, so I'm going to do that. Um, fours, you totally have... So you get four points. Fives, oh, you get. So you get five minus two, you get three points. There you go. And then... Oh, are you using those for points? Yeah, these are for lower than the card value. Sixes, you get sixes. So um, you get six minus four two, points. so you get four points. So... Four points. Sevens, I get sevens minus two, so I get five points. This is why our deck need to be shuffled so bad. Eight. I get five points from eights. Nines, you get seven points from nines. Because you're a dick. Hey, this is a family stream. Oh, sorry. And then I get 10 points from maps, y'all. What was this three? Oh, so I get 10 from that. Dude, I just discarded. I have 22. I think you got it because I have 18. There you go. Pretty close. That was pretty close. That was like the, the like, that's the... That was the first game I played where, like, there weren't, it wasn't easy to get, there wasn't an abundant way to get cards. Mm -hmm. There was an abundant way to get, like, a lot of investigation tokens, but not necessarily cards. But I still liked it. Yeah, I like the fact that it has a different feel because the optimal actions are, you know, not... Yeah. Do you want to back? Yeah. So, yeah, um, if you skip the beginning of the stream, the normal tokens for stuff is the magnifying glasses are these cardboard punch cards, which are nice. They're nice and thick and sturdy. And then the workers are just standard meeples. Um, three orange, three blue. So yeah. Good game. Yeah, good game. And then I have to shuffle a bunch. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely need to shuffle those. Yeah, that's that's fun. That was, yeah, that was an hour. Well, that was a an hour, hour with teaching plus, yeah, streamed hour. So that's pretty good. Cool. Thank you for tuning in. And thank you for everyone that voted to play this game, or have us play this game, because I do like this game. Granted, I do like all the other games that were also on that list, so... Oh, on the that. Geek Buzz list? No, on the list that I tweeted. Oh, on your list? The yeah. poll, the poll, the poll. Oh, the poll? Yeah. That people could vote on for what we're playing. Cool. Well, I like, I like doing these streams. Yeah. All right. Um... Boop. So I don't know when we're gonna stream again. Um, well, what games are left? Well, so of the like in the hour ballpark, we have Tides of Madness, um, Potion Explosion, and the Ticket to Ride Journeys First Journey, which mm -hmm. is the kids game. Mm. Um. I think that's it in the hour range. Is Beyond Baker Street longer? Beyond Baker Street... We could do Beyond Baker Street. Um, it wasn't Gen Con though, right? Technically it was Origins, but so was this game. So... I don't know. So Covert... Covert's good. But the thing that Renegade... Renegade doesn't do a lot, or did not do a lot of marketing on their Gen Con releases. And so it wasn't until... The show started and people started getting them, or people that knew about the games beforehand went and got them. But a lot of the games, 
Like if you went to BGG before the show and looked at a lot of Renegade's games, there wasn't a lot of information. Um, it was interesting. Like Clank had nothing. Clank had literally nothing on it. So, yeah. What's last Friday? Is that related to Friday? Or no. It's oh, I should know this. I remember looking at it. Um, mm. You have to remember, some of that buzz is generated because the companies that the publishers send m review copies and pressers and a whole bunch of stuff to other people and build the buzz. And one of the ways to build buzz is rule books. So you send like, rule books and press information and stuff like that. Um, so if you are a company that doesn't do that, the only way that your game gets known is by like early playtesters or people that are familiar with the company or just like word of mouth almost. Um, so yeah, like a lot of people didn't have Lotus on their buzz list because they just didn't know about it because there wasn't a ton of press. Um, also Potion Explosion, they didn't do a lot of press on Potion Explosion. Oh, Horror nice, game, that was it. Nice Charles. I um. There was, I think the only time I played Fiasco, it was a Someone's a Murderer at a Summer Camp playset, so that made me think of that. Yeah. Well, we'll do another poll. I don't think we're going to stream again this week. We do have some heavier games that we want to play. We, t we played Ticket to Ride Rails and Sales last night. That was awesome. Super love that game. I basically sort of live tweeted it. Not really. There um, are both boats and trains. I would not try or come over. Uh, maybe with the right group that knew how to play and was really good at teaching it in the right setting. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like kind of like BSG that you want to play it with the right group where people kind of know how to play. I watched people play. Ar I watched friends of mine play Arkham Horror on the PAX train one year, and like it took them forever, and they were just always so frustrated. Because it was just very chance. Oh, is that the one where you're going around closing all the gates and there's the elder gods and yeah. Yeah. So not not my cup of tea. Plus it's Cthulhu themed Lovecraftian. I'm not a big Lovecraftian horror fan. Yeah. Yeah, we played the yeah we played the Great Lakes map. Now I really want to play the world map for Rails and Sails because it's so different. Yeah. Um. I also really want to play Terraforming Mars, but that one, if we stream it, would definitely be like a three hour stream or a two and a half hour stream. So That one we would almost want to play like, we would stream like the second time we played. Yeah. 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 And we'd want to play like probably on a weekend, not on an evening. So, because we're only up for like another hour and a half. <sighs> Steve says one hour. Cool. All right, well, thank you for tuning in. Uh, everybody that tuned in, thank you for voting on what game we played. We're definitely going to do this again next week. Um, I don't think we'll do three streams next week. I think we'll probably do maybe two. Um, but yeah, I'll do a Twitter poll. Watch out for the Twitter poll if you want to get in on what we're playing. Um, and I like, link to it throughout the day. So if you miss it the first time I tweet it, I'll send it a few times. Um, but I think we'll put Beyond Baker Street on the list, Tides of Madness, um, Potion Explosion, and the Tick to Ride First Journeys. Um, th we also have like a bunch of newer games that are out that we could definitely still put on there, like Castles of Burgundy, the card game, and um, Royal Goods, and stuff like that. So, yeah. Can I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, Meteor Showers. Yeah, I almost want like, I don't know, a whiteboard or like a board with those things where like you like stack, you know, which games we would want to stream next. Put something up on the board. Anyway. Well, we do have a whiteboard. We just have to repurpose it. Yep. Okay. Good night. Good night. Thanks for watching. Oh, over table camera is on a boom thing. Yeah, it's on a mic stand. It's just a mic stand. No, that. No. Nope. Well, you can kind of see it right there. It's a mic stand with um like a drum yeah. mic stand, kind of with an attached tripod mount thingy. Um, it needs to be higher for these games, but I was really lazy tonight, so I didn't do it. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Cool. Awesome. And that's one hour.